Libra, welcome aboard. Welcome to your timeless reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your beautiful, wonderful comments, your messages, your love and support. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome aboard to my new subscribers. Welcome aboard. These are general, so please keep that in mind. What doesn't resonate for you can and will resonate for someone else here. Do not make it fit if it's not fitting your situation, okay? Um, it's okay if you're not resonating. Um, you can watch another placement in your chart as well. We also have cross watchers here, so remember the energies could be vice versa, interchangeable. And um, I'm still waiting approval for my insight deck, messages deck, but I will post that in the community board when that is ready to go up and running and I will post it with a link but all 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 of my decks will always be below this the description box below this video with a link to them plus any other decks that I use here okay and this deck is 120 cards of clear-cut messages and I also use emojis as a form of emotion there's also timing here even though time is an illusion energy is fluid right Nothing is set in stone, but a lot of you asked me for timing, so I put that in there. also has friend, family, foe energies, karmic energies, spiritual connections, and all kinds of messages. So we're going to use that today so you guys get a little feel for it. So let's get to it, guys. And don't forget my new channel, Be Inspired. I will link that below as well. It's meant for you guys to help you along your journey or whenever you need a little inspiration. All right, so let's get to it, Libra. What's going on? Ooh. Witch of the end of the world. An important end and a new beginning, number 45. All right. I'm hearing that song. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. And Hannibal Lecter sing that. <laughs> Or they had, they, had, had they had that playing in the background. Can't even talk. In uh, Silence of the Lamb at some point towards the end. That That's a little unnerving. Okay. Well, whatever this is, it's done. On to the next. I'm not going to lie. This is giving me creepy vibes. <laughs> Okay, what am, what are we getting into? Whatever it is, it's done and over with, but this is creepy. Okay, and all this darkness and lightning and blood here. Okay, I think this card came out for Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. But, and yeah, so, so let's see here. Fertility, potential, powerful creative energy, initiation, and energy. Some of you could be pregnant, having a child, congratulations for some of you. But I'm seeing um, you could be very fertile at this time, so please be careful if you do not plan on becoming pregnant. But you could be birthing a new chapter in your life, new things, new creative projects with endings and new beginnings here. Number eight could be significant. That could be someone's life path number here as well. But something is being manifested, something new. It went through a process of time, patience, and evolution here. Maybe somebody, some, someone or something had to grow, expand, be ready for a specific moment. Okay. I, I can't get away from the creepy vibes. I, I, I haven't quite grasped my energy around that yet, so we'll keep going. Um, Song of the Siren, the call, summoning voice to acknowledge, number five. So this has to do with some kind of change. Something was difficult here, but whatever it is, it's creating change, necessary change. Hmm. Also, somebody here could be looked at, uh, Libra, you could be looked at as someone kind of different, unique here. Somebody doesn't know quite what you are. You could be witchy, you could have witchy vibes, or you could be like a siren, you know, 
somebody might people could be throwing all kinds of labels when it comes to you as well I just feel like you're different you're in your true authentic energy here let's look at the bottom of the deck but something is weird too like I'm getting another side of this energy some of you could have dealt with like a copycat somebody mirror trying to mirror your energy let me see here yeah aloha and healing so we're saying we said hello to a situation now we're saying goodbye to it right endings bring new beginnings number 19 adding up to 10 done entering a new beginning here something is manifesting manifesting change because of things that came to light lessons that had to be learned experiences that had to be had growth took place but it's like from darkness came light and I'm getting some weird energy here I'm also getting like weird science anybody ever watched that movie it's an old movie late 80s or something mid 80s where these um kids they're not really kids but they were like teenagers right they put all this stuff together to make the perfect woman but she was older than them somebody could be in their 40s but you look damn good it's like you have everything that somebody is looking for or something like this but you were made like you're not even of the earth you were made from different things so you're definitely like in the earth but not of it this is interesting but it's like people cannot stop and stare just like in that movie weird science I've channeled weird science before it's been a while since I've picked up on this energy but it's like nobody can make out who you are what you are where you come from it could even be your ethnicity even everything about you spiritually energetically and physically nobody really knows who you are what you are but yet you're like an enigma getting ethereal it's like with all this white like it's electric there's ah, there's something healing too there's a healing energy to you it's like mystic you could be a mystic mysterious maybe you're even still trying to figure this out here who are you really I feel like you've been a lot of people throughout life many lifetimes you could be a very old soul an ancient soul a goddess a god so your energy is very mistaken misunderstood you're you're a, a very I feel like you're coming into your power and people are viewing you in many different ways everybody has a, 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 a specific view of who you are and it's all intriguing and mesmerizing and kind of captivating here but they're all still trying to figure it out that's, that's what I'm picking up Let's look at the bottom here yeah that's so this so this is the energy I was picking up something dark here you definitely could have had people coming up against you because you're different but it's a good kind of different it's a I'm envious because I don't shine like this kind of different with these dark people because look and you see how this is you here with the electric white hair you're like lightning you come in like a storm you strike and people are scared intimidated of this energy yeah you ever stood out in the lightning you're not happy about it right you're a little scared that you're gonna get struck by it so experiments manipulation of nature forcing change cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance so I feel like you're very wise you're coming into your own some of you came into an awakening some of you are still trying to figure out like your roots and somebody was trying 
to gain the knowledge that you have through energy manipulation because they're arrogant and in their ego and they're manipulating energy through witchcraft this is why this witch is here so somebody could have tried to project onto you because you're so different that you are this witch but in reality someone's acting like your regular Joe Schmo Jane Smith here and they're really a dark witch or warlock here and they're trying to force change through whatever belief systems they have they actually think they hold the power to go against a divine being here a god or goddess energy they don't know what energy they're dealing with is their biggest mistake first of all because I feel like you're still finding your power and who you are and whatever that is is very divine they don't understand this energy they should have never even thought about going up against it because I see it here they don't know you, you how are you gonna bring the storm to lightning the lightning is part of the storm how are you gonna try to overpower lightning when lightning is powerful you you see what I'm saying you can't cast darkness in something that comes from it like is well aware of its environment it thrives in it 33 oh snap that's ascended master energy oh man you express the um so you're coming into Christ consciousness you express the energy of divine you do have divine knowledge and these people didn't understand what they were up against you're you're an ascendant master or you're you're an ascendant master in training here they messed with the wrong person I'm getting like Thor energy too oh really yeah I just heard you're like the perfect specimen that's how you're being viewed okay we, we know nobody's perfect and this is not about perfection and stuff like that but there is an, a specific energy vibration and frequency in which you were developed and come from that's very different from the typical energies that you see on an everyday you know on a day-to-day -day, or you encounter on a day-to-day -day life you're very different you could have people that always stare at you you change the energy in the room um, definitely with thunder and lightning you could trigger a lot of jealousy within people you can't just walk into the room and, and somebody not look it impossible to not notice your energy it's like you're you're like a you're like the silent storm though you could make noise if you need to but you don't even have you don't even go there because it's not you and like you see it you feel it coming like you're staring right at it you're not even running away from it but these people really think that they can overpower you somehow and gain your knowledge you what are they thinking <laughs> number 33 this is a master number you're meant to lead others as well that's a master number like you're coming into your own here it's almost like you're birthing yourself your your newfound sense of self whatever this is that you're birthing okay you went through some kind of change here yeah endings bring new beginnings okay you're birthing yourself anew because you're you're starting to figure out who you really are here and it's like every time somebody sees you you look different or your energy shifts and changes it's like just when they think they figured you out and they don't know 
Oh, some of you could be shapeshifters. Not all shapeshifters is dark and, and, and you know, malice. No, you're a shapeshifter, you could have uh, mediumship abilities. Yeah. Well, think about it. Okay? Sometimes you hear thunder, right? You don't really know where it's coming from. Because sometimes it's over here. Sometimes it's over there. All in one thunder. Sometimes it's vroom, 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 vroom. You know what I mean? And lightning, the same thing. It's flashing over here, but then it's flashing over here. And then the big lightning is like, ta da 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 You know, <laughs> right over there. You move like lightning. So they miss you. Every time they try to go against you. Oh, shit. You're fast like lightning. Now I'm hearing that song. <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, this is interesting. She's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. You gotta feel it. She's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Something like that. Now we get into the electric slide. Wanna take you on a party night. <laughs> All right, let's move on here, Libra. I don't know what's going on, but who we? They don't know who you are. All right. Behind the veil of it all, let's see what what else is surrounding you. This is there's that lightning again. Separate ways. You, you might have caused the breakup here. You come in, you create change. That's what it is. Wow. So you're like the tower. You could have Scorpio on your chart, or you could be cross watcher Scorpio with Libra in your chart also. This ain't no joke. Yeah. Huh. Visions. The thing is that you must be very attractive too. There, there's something like, just like, intriguing. Like, I mean, lightning is intriguing if you, you know, if you sit there and look at it. It's so powerful. It's so quick. So dangerous. She's dangerous. Hmm. Yeah, you got me tripping over you. Somebody's tripping. Like they saw you and they didn't know what to do with themselves. They could have literally tripped when they saw you. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, Ascendant Master Energy. There it is. They didn't know who they were going up against. Open Crown Chakra. Connected to the Cosmos. Working with Ascendant Masters downloads important information, insight, and clarity. So you could be working with Ascendant Masters, or you're an Ascendant Master yourself, or you're an Ascendant Master in training. And where does lightning come from? Above. Above. Cold and heat, water electric with that air true north headed towards a fixed point where you belong you are on your path your purpose here you know exactly where you're going you be trying to point someone energetically or your vibe is pointing someone energetically to through you know leading the way here but somebody's over here like they're they're still trying to figure this out okay like who the hell is this something going on between you and someone here you're magnetically drawing someone here you're showing them the way through this this lightning this siren energy so somebody left something behind here you could have left something behind it says separate ways after much deliberation contemplation and useful information you can now move forward into a new path with confidence full circle 
So something came definitely full circle, and somebody's angry about that. Absolutely. Anger. Ego trip. Feeling defeated. So that could be somebody here that was trying to go, you know, do energy manipulation and copy your energy. Honey, your energy, your essence cannot be mimicked, copied, and it cannot be denied. The world, yeah. Somebody's angry about that because you're about to go on a date with whoever you got tripping over here, over you. Cheers to a new beginning. Date night. Somebody mad, their shit, their spell work did not work, it backfired. Yeah, disbelief. A message is coming in that will leave you speechless. So I guess this person is planning on reaching out. Archangel Michael is working with someone here. Protection, strength, telepathy, and speaks through animals. And this is, um, you know, protecting whatever this union is supposed to be. This person could be, like, highly intimidated, okay? Because your energy is pretty, pretty damn powerful here. Pretty strong. Not that you mean to be, it's just, you are here to basically express the connection of the divine within, and that's Christ consciousness, that's what I'm getting, and, and you had to figure this out for yourself. And that's, ascended masters sometimes descend into this earth to do that, so you are a light worker, a star seed, or you're something different here okay but you've been around the universe not just on this planet collecting information um, learning lessons clearing out karmas this is all part of your own spiritual evolution as a consciousness yeah, this is deep so this is for you know those who understand or are trying to understand okay or are getting it restoration Returning to a place of peace and improved condition. So yeah, somebody could be, you or somebody could be healing here now. And if this is you leaving something behind, whoever you left behind, they're angry. <laughs> okay, again, it could be vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Um, because you can't be stopped. You're lightning. You can't be stopped. Yeah, you're listening to your intuition. Spidey senses, instinct, intuitive feelings about someone, something, or place. Self-defense, do not mistake my kindness for weakness. Yeah, okay, because I feel like you could be beautiful. You could have a like this sweet, sweetheart sensuality about you. But you're, the power is within, okay? Definitely. You could be letting your hair down. Okay, going out, enjoying yourself here. Girl, or boy, you're in your power. <laughs> balancing, drowning your emotions and balancing your emotions. Excuse me, drowning your sorrows and balancing your emotion. While somebody here was procrastinating and being unfaithful. Okay, wasting their time and life away, unfaithful. Persuaded by temptation, desires, and no fucks. You ain't got time for that. You ain't got time for that. Archangel Michael is here with you as well. Excuse me, Gabriel. Communication, message, motivation, and confidence. Confidence to speak your truth. Regenerating going on within you here. Okay? Healing the heart, body, mind, and spirit. So your body is going through a regeneration process. So some you're evolving in a way that I don't think a lot of people are going to understand. You could look good, damn good for your age. Your body is in healing mode, so some you activated your your body here. Your DNA is being activated as well, so you're getting downloads and information about things that not a lot of people are going to understand. And it's because you're tapping in. You're connected to the cosmos. You're you're open um, to this energy, so you're 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 a clear. It's like you're a portal, you're, you're a, a channel, your your crowns, your, your chakras are aligned to open up to this information, okay? You're working with um, things that people don't understand, okay? Yeah, you could have tried examining the past year. Sometimes looking back brings us the answers we now seek, okay? But you're headed back to the future over here. I'm hearing that song, Back to the, what, what is it? 
back to the back to the mission at hand is that what it's called no that was part of a rap song I don't remember how it goes but anyways yeah you're on an adventure a much needed escape balance keep it pushing sink or swim okay somebody could be on cloud nine over you or you are feelings butterflies daydreams and yeah being completely redirected divine intervention is God's protection trust the path and that's exactly what you're doing yeah you're just looking back at the past something was done that's irreparable harm inflicted on a relationship due to specific circumstances and a karmic again is pissed off at what they're hearing and seeing so this is either somebody that tried to mimic your energy that was with someone here that's tripping over you or you were with a karmic here that is kind of, you know has witchy vibes or warlock energy that try to go up against you and whoever this person is that you're going towards okay but I, I see you as um, heading true north and somebody is tripping over you um, and that could be the person that was dealing with this karmic energy yeah because they know they know that this person is nervous but a special event is approaching so they know about you because they try to copy your energy. This person could have tried doing mirror magic, beauty spells also. Whatever they wanted for you, I feel like, you see how in the mirror she's older, but here she's young? Like, you're looking younger and now this person's going to start to look older, even if they're younger than you. Because they were doing beauty spells. Yeah, fake identity. They can't keep up with this facade. Yeah, you got new love coming in. Loving and compatible connection, you will think of each other endlessly. Because this person is making a choice. Resolution. Determined and making a firm decision. Yeah, mirroring each other. A healing connection with similar experiences, traumas, and disappointments. Okay, you guys could go back to Egyptian times. There's just something... But I feel like your energy goes way beyond just Egyptian times. Like you've been around the universe. You're a cosmic being. You're cosmic. But that means so is your person. But they don't understand that side of themselves yet. A message is coming in, yeah. A true uh, a time for communication. Because, yeah, they're, they're the ones that were stuck in a situation. But that's dead with zombie tree here uprooted this foundation has run its course yeah and there they come courting I plan on sweeping you off your feet and you're over here taking care of yourself happiness purification and unbothered while there's somebody here that they were arguing with yeah so I feel like this is a somebody here was with a person that was in the dark that they were in a relationship with and they split ways because this person you got this person tripping like they're all about you like you are an enigma you are an intrigue but it's your divine counterpart but this is all new to both of you but now is the time it's like now is the time for the revelation things are being revealed big time you are coming into your strength your your inner knowing of who you are this is big down the line when you guys come together this is huge there's still so much to to do here so much more growth to have so you're on you know it's a journey right not a destination Whew. okay yeah so this person now sees whoever this karmic is for who they are Devil's Advocate, Seven Sins, Dark Energy expresses the, vis, the, vis, the views and the wishes of the shadows with arguments. Trouble in paradise, don't let the appearances fool you. And visions, seeing through illusions, using discernment and deciphering your dreams. What was once a blur is crystal clear. So this person was lost also. They didn't, you know what I mean? They were lost in the shadows. They're, they didn't understand their power either. So it's almost like you became a, a muse 
because you're mirroring each other, right? So whatever you healed is now being mirrored back to this person. So now this person can see themselves right within you. You are a reflection of what they are within. But it's almost like you had to wake up yourself in order for this person to see it. So you are mirroring their higher self. And this person is going to be on your vibration as they go through the process that you've been through. You're already on your purpose, on your way. Okay, you're doing what you need to do, and now this person is um, getting on, on their path, their journey, their life purpose. But boy, this person must have had a hard time trying to understand all of this. Some of you could still be trying to kind of understand all of this. Knowledge is power. Understanding yourself is, is crucial here. You know, when we don't understand ourselves and we have like a divine path, a, a higher purpose, we could we could be um, we can come into so much spiritual warfare and chaos that can, you know, be your demise if you don't understand your power here. So. Awakening your own power is helping this divine counterpart to awaken to their own power and to see things deeper than just surface surface level, right? Just 3D level because they had energies around them that were here to basically defeat this union and, and this connection and that very thing that you guys are doing and that's awakening to your power because energies could, you know, it's energy. They can manipulate anyone you know to use it to their benefit to create a separation or something from being birthed which is a new version of yourselves so that could be the masculine here oh snap what Okay, and this reading is just crazy with energy. Okay, you were the vessel to help this person birth the new version of themselves, an important end and a new beginning. So this person's going through a rebirth, but it's like you were the vessel for them to be able to do this without you having to birth this person yourself, of course energetically this is so weird but in very intricate and connected here nobody can sever this tie that they can do all kinds of spell work they want you guys are divinely protected and it's because you came into your power so essentially you helped this rebirth that they're going through so this could be within a month because this is number eight so by this time next month or whenever this message finds you this person's coming into their own but it's like a rebirth a whole new world right a whole new perspective a whole new conscious level where they're going to be seeing things differently learning different things and understanding things the way you came to understand them as well in your own journey wow so you're like the muse the inspiration like leading your leader and that's why the number 33 was here so this person is also learning from you but they're it you're helping them awaken to their own power as well wow that's how it was supposed to be orchestrated I'm loving this reading. I know it's uh, very esoteric, very um, cosmic and, and deep, but for those who get it, you get it. Okay, let's get some tarot here. Yeah, there it is. New beginning, the fool. New territory. Six of cups, past life. Wow. 
you could have had this person so confused like this person definitely was in mental conflict because this this came out of left field this came out of left field they didn't even know what hit them there it is two of cups see this person was conditioned right like as we all are when we come here and they see you as someone very different from them but you're actually not they had to understand so, so I'm seeing this as they they're very 3d they were for a long time but now they're gonna understand their power here you, you're still both on this planet whether you're from water and they're from the earth you know what I'm saying you still need water and earth to create a, pla a planet and an, an environment okay you're not that different after all yeah justice is here ten of cups that's what's that's the new beginning wow this is crazy eight of swords fear fear call of the siren song of the siren okay this person is nervous they they don't know what this is so this might have been a little hard uh, this was a pill that was a little hard to swallow here okay and when they did holy trip holy trip that's what that was <laughs> they said i don't know about this but it's, it's because they're all in their head but they're overcoming this yeah past life six of cups two of cups cannot be denied that's why you got them tripping like whoa who what what's this yep the sun beautiful enlightenment too connected to the cosmos clarity a whole new beginning very happy new beginning the sun is the happiest card in the deck next to the ten of cups and you got both of them here with the two of cups and the six of cups there's a past life love connection a divine connection seven of wands you're protected along this journey this path so have no fear okay i feel like somebody here is fearful though and this it could be this person that you got them tripping over you and again it's because they're still in that like but i'm human <laughs> How could this be? I don't know anything about this. <laughs> but you guys are mirroring each other. You're, this is your counterpart. So they're not as human as they think they are. They were just conditioned to think so. Wow. So justice with the Page of Cups and the Two of Swords with the Magician. Yeah, this is a manifestation. But, they, you know, they were dealing with some manipulation, I feel, here okay with the magician and the two of swords opposition is what I'm hearing and the ten of wands so they went through the ten of wands or you did take it how it resonates yeah five of cups depression anxiety fear um, you know at a loss just heavy heavy burdens so they could have manifested their own ass whooping this could have been ha something that happened to you um, so you know or to both of you at different times in your path yeah the moon yeah the moon with the five of cups and the magician hmm. yeah there was definitely somebody who was dealing with a dark worker we already saw the um expresses the views and wishes of the shadows so definitely somebody was dealing with a dark worker there's many fears here but there's nine of cups yeah this person has dreamt about you also and the, yeah page of wands with the tower there's the tower there's the magnifying glass with the three of wands some of you it's like i'm hearing that song i'm so powerful da, 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 
da, da, da, da, da, da. From a distance, you created a tower moment. Just by this person meeting you, seeing you, however this came to be. From a distance, three of wands, the tower. Because you dismantled something here. Because you understood it before they did. They're just now understanding and moving forward here. I knew I felt the tower here, the Scorpio vibe. Yeah, this person was nervous. Like, nine of swords. They couldn't sleep. But there they are, moving forward anyway. The chariot, Cancer energy. Yeah, the high priestess with the wheel of fortune. Look at that. Navigation, spiritual navigation. Yeah, and there's the inner conflict. Five of Wands. Other people could have been trying to be against this. Also, this is you being spiritually protected on your path with the chariot. Okay? You're, you're spiritually guiding this, this um, divine plan. Yeah, and being admired. Six of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you got your 5D self, divinely guided and protected, and you got your 3D self here, nurturing yourself, self care, self worth. And this person looking at you like, you got this person tripping. Like, they might have to take a seat back and, and analyze the situation. Here you are. And they're like, what the fuck? What just struck me? What is this? What has my life become? What is this purpose? What is this meaning? What does this mean? You, you, this person was seeing signs and synchronicities and finally like starting to pick up on it. Um, things were happening in their life and they're just like, what? It, it probably took them a while to decipher the signs and synchronicities, the clues that spirit was trying to give this person. Yeah, temperance. Equilibrium with three of cups. Yeah, this person could have like even tried entertaining other connections but it's like no you don't find this energy every day wow guys oh this is a long ass reading let me keep moving okay these were meant to be short but there was a lot of energy here libra so um let's get you some messages from my insight messages deck Yeah, getting readings on you. You got this person getting readings on you. And there there was definitely somebody jealous. Okay. So I feel like it's this person that broke up with someone here. With some sort of dark worker witch energy. Alright, let's see what we got here. Witchy vibes. <laughs> there it is. They could have felt like you were a witch. Also, like I said, somebody was throwing labels here. But they don't really know what you are. They could have felt like you put a spell on them. But no, this isn't a spell. This is two of cups, six of cups. You have a past life connection. It's going to be a high level soulmate or a twin here for some of you. Undeniable truth. Yeah. Like... Somebody was getting readings on you. There was undeniable truth here. They were shocked. Clarity, the sun, that you are their ten of cups. And we got not interested over here. Okay, you, some of you are protecting your energy here with the seven of wands. Okay. Maybe somebody was trying to control you here or, or, or bound you to a situation with the eight of... Um, Eight of Swords here. You're not interested in that. Yeah, doubts and fears. See, they were they were scared. They were like, "What the fuck is this? Who is this? Am I under a spell or what? What is this?" <laughs> Seriously, it's your soulmate, your divine counterpart. Yeah, they were in a toxic relationship 
with the devil. Okay. They're understanding a lot now. And we have brother. Not interested. Okay. They could have a brother that's saying that you're not interested in them. Because maybe you're doing your own thing. It's like you know what's going on, but they don't know you know what's going on, or they don't know how much you know what's going on. Because you're acting uh, coy or aloof. Like, you're just in your purpose doing your thing. You're not bothering this person. They're not. You're not even a part of this person's life, I feel like, yet. But you know of each other, or you're watching each other, or something like that. You understand that they have to grow and see things for themselves. So it could be a brother here saying that you're not interested. Either your brother or is saying that they're not interested because they're too scared or they have a brother that's saying that you're not interested. I don't know. Let's see here. Loved by many and I believe in you. See? So you could be loved by many. This person believes in you now. And there was a snake in the building. That's this person. Yeah, new love energy, exactly. Divine feminine. See how you have a cap and, 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 well, cap and gown kind of energy here with a certificate here. You're, you're, you have elevated to a specific point, okay? Of course, you know, we keep growing and learning and all of that. But I feel like you've been crowned as well. Like you graduated from a specific level. You broke free. You broke through something that you had to break through this lifetime. And you're continuing on your journey now. Like blockages are being removed is what I'm feeling here. And communication is coming in from this new love. Yeah, romance is here. Yeah, you have real powerful psychic gifts, and you have prophetic dreams. That's why you know. That's why you know. There's no way you don't have psychic gifts without energy. Yeah, future energy. Yeah, exactly, you were misjudged. Last year, you were misjudged. They thought you put a spell on them. Yeah, you were misjudged because there was a fire sign here. Talking crap. Okay, shit starter, rumors, fire sign. Okay, something about a baby daddy here. This could be the karmix baby daddy too, is what I'm getting. Because this is new love, so you don't have a child with that. And yeah, an arrest is made or was made here last year. Yeah, it could have been over something about... Oh, that karmic could have cheated on them. So they went, yeah, sending you the evil eye. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, something went on there. Yeah, they were dealing with a narcissist. See? Recognition and opportunity with honest, faithful, and true. They wanted to give you some sort of opportunity in the past. You were honest, faithful, and true, but somebody really tried to go up, up against this. Energetically, spiritually, and physically. Yeah. With trustworthy. But they were confused. Yeah, you weren't dating. You're not dating. Could be at this time as well. You, maybe you've been single for some time. And you're balanced. There you go. Balanced. Within your light and dark. Yeah. <laughs> so within six months, somebody's going to be real triggered. Because they're going to find out that this is your true love. So if somebody was in denial that, oh, this can't be, you know, because there's a lot of admirers here. So you have admirers, they're going to feel a little jealous because you're not going to be single anymore. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Wow, interesting reading, Libra. Wow, this is a long one. This is the longest one yet, but... I, I kind of have to do that. Yeah. Lesson learned. Light worker. Spread your light. Better time, better things to come. 
so people it's like people don't want to see you together because they want you <laughs> One more shuffle here. Now I'm hearing that song. Upside down. Boy, turn me inside out. Round and round. Upside down, you turn me. You get up, set you free. False connection, not in love. It's a masquerade. That's what this person was in. They were in a false connection. A romantic encounter is on the horizon. That's the sun with the ten of cups. Great rewards. It's a new day. Gratitude, grateful, and joyful. Yeah, I feel like you're filled with gratitude. You're grateful for what you have, who you are, who you're becoming, and the things that you have in your life. Magnetic aura. Yeah, the honeybee, queen bee. Okay. This person was like, what did this person do to me? Complete, completely and magnetically drawn to you. It's your counterpart. Opposites attract. Ooh la la. This could be your sister sign as well. So take that how it resonates. Your sister sign Libra would be Aries, but it doesn't have to be. And be patient with yourself. Yeah, what I mean, it doesn't have to be an Aries, okay? Healing the heart chakra. Yeah, you've been, like I said, you've been healing. And your healing has been causing a lot of change within your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul. Uh, regeneration. You're a healer also. You're healing energy. You you figure out on the process of self-healing as well as what I'm getting here. You activated your, your body. Take a staycation. Just let it all hang out. Much needed. Springtime. Love is in the air. Okay, so this is sometime next year. Alpha personality likes to be in control. With holiday season, expect the unexpected. It's a winter wonderland. Okay, the heat is on. Undeniable attraction and chemistry. So you guys could meet along the holiday season. But maybe it's coming together together around spring. Or you're taking this staycation with this person around spring. Secret getaway. Yeah, time for getting to know each other on a deeper level. Now, we do have lost interest with, I have lost interest, next please. So, it's probably because you saw that this person wasn't getting it together. So, I don't know. Okay. Or there's a brother here that keeps saying that you lost interest. Yeah, exactly. See, I have, I have shown my family and friends your pictures, great feedback. But somebody, I feel like their brother is saying that you lost interest because you're not paying attention to this person. But you know it's because they have to grow. Invest in a skill you love. You got skills. Use them. And it's time to let loose. Time to let your hair down. Break free. I feel like that's them. Yeah. Yeah. The envious. You just make it look easy with the choice is yours. Follow your intuition. So, yeah. I feel like that's them. Yeah, this person will be a very important part of your life. Protective, the good kind. You could be definitely an important part of their life. Important part of each other's life. Yeah, it's like, I need you to stop being so enticing. I'm thirsty for you. Yeah, this person can't deny what they feel here. I'm so into you, the hunger is real. So, yeah, you're just unforgettable. This is not, you're not in kind of energy that you can just be like, eh. That'll never work. You know, you can tell yourself that till you're blue in the face. This person, it, they can't forget you because you're spiritually connected and divinely guided towards one another. All right, Libra, that's what I have. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you resonate. 5444 on the clock. So, a little change left. 444, 555, you could be seeing here as well. So, 5454 on the clock. So, there you go. Um, I wish you guys the best, and I'll see you later. Peace.